Hello, this is week two of my vlogmas. My name is Francis, and this is the Wall Winder podcast. Uh, first part of this week, I'm going to be up in Hertfordshire and St Albans showing you Christmassy stuff that's going on up here. And then we're going to be heading back down to Cornwall and doing all things Cornish Christmassy and getting cosy inside, um, looking at knitting, um, opening my advent calendar. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, come and join us. So the rain has stopped um, and I'm going to get out in the garden and do some jobs that need to be done back here. Um, it's very noisy because you hear so much traffic today. Um, I guess that's maybe uh, a sign of everybody getting out shopping for Christmas. Um, right, but let's take you around the garden first. We've got lots of leaves to clear up. And... There's lots of perennials that need to be cut back. I'll, if they look nice, I'll leave them. Um, but if they're starting to look a bit shabby, like these sedums are, then um, I'll cut those back. Um, what else can I see that I would like to get done? I may tidy up this fern because it's starting to smother stuff. Um, and then I've got here a cherry tree that I had last year. Um, and what, what I'm going to do, what I've got growing up here, you can see I've got a clematis and a rose. Um, so I'm going to, um, continue just to prune out some of those sticks at the top, the little tiny twigs, um, just to make a better frame for them to climb into. So... Yeah, and you can see that the frost has really bitten here, much more so than it has down in Cornwall. That's my poor hydrangea, not looking very happy. Um, and it's got this resinous here. You can see the frost has got that. Um, and I can say I can see my dahlias and things, so I'll just take those out now that's that will now have died um but i've already saved seeds for it so i can grow more next year so so i don't know how much i'll get done but i'm going to get out and enjoy it um the sun is trying to pop up through the trees there in the woods um so uh, yeah and it's not too cold so let me get out and enjoy it So this is my um, Christmas cookbook um, and 
I still follow recipes that are in here, but actually more than anything, it holds my lists. Um, and I keep all the lists from previous Christmases um, to remind me um, what I did. Um, so it, they start with more recent ones, reminders of things to buy for Christmas. Um, this one is a Christmas Day plan, when to turn on the oven, when to baste the turkey, all that kind of thing. Um, I've got lists here on Christmas Eve. I always used to get the children when they were at home and my husband, give them a list of jobs of all to do. Um, and actually, I don't think this one has, but some of them, the kids would then write funny comments down at the bottom of it as well. Um, and I've got lists going back. Some of these are quite old. So there's a list here where it says um, mum's bringing the pudding and um, ask mum about the stuffy. Well, that must be more than 15 years ago. Um, so all the, you know, these lists are 2011. I found one 2012, 2009. So these lists go back a long way. Some some of the Christmas dinners, we, I, we might have had 14 people or so today just a Christmas presents there. Um, and yeah, it's it's a lovely, it was never deliberate. It was meant just as a reminder of what I'd done on the previous Christmases. But now over the years, it's started to become a bit of a um, a memoir of, of um, Christmas days um, that we've uh, had before. It still does serve as a reminder. I will follow, look at this. Um, and I've written down the weight of the turkey and everything that I would have done then. And I'll follow that uh, when it comes to um, cooking the turkey this year. Um, but the reason I've got this out today is to check the food that I need for my um, Christmas um, delivery. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's my little memory in, in that box uh, to remind me of what to do and to remind me of what we've done in the past.
finish. I'll probably keep tweaking it. Um, well, all finished. This side's finished. You'll probably notice I didn't do the round the, the other side. I'm going to save that for my daughter to do when she comes back to university. Why she will not be happy with me. And the uh, fairy on the top knitted out um, <laughs> some tarlow, which is a row, an expensive row in yarn. Oh, that, that's so nice. <laughs> so I hope she's pleased with her dress. Hello, it's Sunday, December the 10th, and this is week two of my Vlogmas. We are back in Hertfordshire um, and for a few days, so we're in um, St Albans, Hertfordshire, is just above uh, London, um, and we are back doing various things. We had um, an event today, it's been a busy day today, um, I'm quite tired to be honest with you, <laughs> sitting down here, it's good to have a rest. Um, we've been out doing canal boat today. Um, with um, wool, with wool winders um, workshops and um, very wet day, wettest day I think we've ever had on a canal boat um, and we've put up the Christmas tree, we've put up the decorations outside um, so yeah we've been we've been really busy so it's good to uh, sit down now. I've got a Christmas mug this time, this is my daughter's Christmas mug actually, she got this with a one of those really fancy hot chocolates um, when we were in a cafe um, in a garden centre one year and um, yeah, come to our cupboard every Christmas. So um, I'm back here getting ready for Christmas. We will be back down in Cornwall in a couple of days. Um, so there'll be more of that coming up in this video. Uh, but I thought I'd share with you a little bit more about getting ready for Christmas up here, which is perhaps more of a traditional Christmas. Um, and um, and then we'll get back down um, the M4 to Cornwall and um, show you more of the lovely sights down in Cornwall. So let's get started. So we've got a couple of days to catch up on on my advent calendar. Uh, so I've got an advent calendar from Blue Fern Yarns um, and the last one I opened was number six and I've been keeping them in this uh, bag which is just a bag that I bought picked up from a charity shop because it's just quite nice for uh, keeping yarns in so this is Tropical Beach and I probably won't be that surprised to know that's in that colour of the and look it comes with a lovely stitch marker or progress keeper I think that's a progress keeper actually. Let me see. You can see that. Is that lovely? It's a little beach shoe or a flip flop. So that is number eight. No, number seven that was. Number eight is. Oh, now uh, with shifting colours here, it's called shallows. So oh, there we go. On to number nine. Oh, this changes again. I've just squeezed the packets to check there's not another bounty or a Twix in there. Um, and this one is called Rock Barrier. Show them all to you a bit more up first in a minute. Oh, we get the last one. And then we're on to number 10 today. Oh, and we have Mars. I know someone that would like that. And this one is called Post. Um, and it's interesting actually, these two, 
Oh, no, she's three of these. Got lovely flex in them. So I'm going to try and see if I can get these up close enough for you to see. So you can see this flex in the different, um, these three. So this was the first one here. Um, so that was seven, eight, nine, ten, and you can see this flex there in that. So are they beautiful? And so I have balled up the other yarns. They're all sitting in there. Um, only one of them, the first one, Sea Swell, has unraveled a bit and it's made a bit of a mess in there. But anyway, um, so we're getting quite a nice contrast of colours. Um, it's going to be difficult for me to get them all out to show you now, but I will do at one, some point. I'll get them out on a line so that you can see see the different colours. But excitingly, so I'm going to put those in there. Excitingly, I have cast on. So I've cast on Zelf Day's cardigan, which is um, a pattern to... Um, to do an advent, uh, to use an advent calendar, or you could use a variety of other yarns. I know I had a few people message me. Um, thank you so much for your lovely comments. You are, yeah, really, really um, lovely comments. It's so nice. It's really, uh, really encouraging. Um, so I have cast on the rib, um, cast it on tubular cast on. Um, and the yarn that I am knitting this in is a West Yorkshire Spinners fleece, 100% um, blue fleece lister. So you do four centimetres of the rib and then you start doing the pattern. And I just, I had already swatched, of course, to make sure on the right needles, I needed to drop down a size needle, which is Fairly standard for me, to be honest. I am a loose knitter. Um, I think I'm just a bit too relaxed when I knit. Um, so that's my swatch. So that gives you a kind of an idea of the pattern. Um, so you're doing these four stripes. But with here, where we've got the same colour um, blue going in, in between the main colour, it will, of course, be a different colour for each day. So each day is colour will go up in there and as you can see from that the color is graduating so you're going to have that change of colors as you as you go all the way through and it'll be interesting to see where it goes to and you remember i saying that taking a little bit of a risk getting it started and doing but that's half the half of the fun it's um the bit of jeopardy in it makes it makes it interesting um and i have to say i don't think I often get excited, isn't it? Oh, obviously, I, I I love knitting, but I don't think I've been quite so excited as to doing this. So I think I will kind of take in the attitude that, hey, even if it isn't quite what I'm expecting it to be, um, even if I don't like the end result of it, um, the fun of not knowing what you're knitting and what it's going to turn out like, um, I'm quite enjoying that. I know for some people want to want a bit more control um, that maybe isn't going to be so, quite so much fun, but um, I'm really loving that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So that is um, the uh, Darth Day's cardigan cast on, and hopefully when I show it to you next time, there will be more done. Um, and I am good way through doing the last of those little jumpers that I showed you in the last video. Um, and I've got three more squares, well, maybe two and a half or squares to knit off the midwinter blanket. So these are all things that I want to get finished in time for Christmas. So, um, yeah. Um, and along with that, I've got all the, um, other stuff. So we have, while we've been back here, I've been doing all the non-perishable food shopping and so forth ready for Christmas because we're going to have lots of family staying here over over Christmas lots of entertaining um and um yeah so I'll tell you 
um, or I'll show you, should I say, a little bit more about that as we as we go along. Got no knitwear on today because actually it's quite a hot sitting by this fire. Um, but it is nice to have a little sort of cosy fire. That's something we don't have um, sat down in Cornwall. Um, so it's quite nice to, to have this. Um, yeah, and I got out in the garden yesterday. Um, and do you know, it was quite interesting. I thought the difference in the noise level um in Cornwall where we are it is really quiet now I know that's partly because it's the off season um but it is really quiet it's the so the roads don't really go anywhere so there's not lots of passing traffic or road noise um whereas the ring road for St Albans is not that far from where we live and you often can hear ambulances and things like that going through but it was just a general traffic noise um yesterday when I went out in the garden that sort of hit me although it was lovely to get back out in the garden and and do a little bit just leaf sweeping and so forth it was just nice to get out anyway I'll stop wittering I can feel myself wittering on um and I will stop here I'm going to go and put my feet up and um do some more knitting um make a little bit of tea I think and um yeah catch up with you tomorrow okay Hello, it's Monday, December the 11th already. So um, today was a beautiful day, such a lovely morning. Um, the, as the sun rose, it lights up the trees across the back of my garden. So I've got a little shot of that. So let's share that with you because it's just, I think, so beautiful. And then um, today's been a bit, as it is on a Monday, I'm sure it is for a lot of people, work quite a reset um you know there's always loads of tidying up to do after the weekend lots of washing to do so on and so forth but I got out today so I've had a bit of a fringe trim um and I got out and I filmed a number of our post box so in St Albans there are um 80 odd post box toppers made to go on the top of our traditional red round post box um and actually I thought it was done everywhere and I know other places there are lots of other places that do do them but I haven't seen them in Cornwall um so that's something I've appreciated coming back and, and seeing those here um and they're lovely and they attract lots of attention it's so nice for um knitters to be able to share their craft you know in, in such a way and then when we were going through um Kings Langley which is where our boat set sail yesterday uh the canal boat they had decorations that were knitted there. So instead of paper bunting, um, they had knitted, not paper bunting, paper chains. They had knitted um, chains um, and little hanging Christmas trees and um, parcels on the top posts and so forth. Um, and I'll I'll put all that the film in that so you can enjoy them as well. Um, and let me know what you what you enjoyed seeing, or maybe maybe you have them in your area as well. So that yeah, that's what we've um seen today. Um and um so now we're we're back inside um and uh I've been doing a bit of wrapping up this evening. Um and now I've sat down um have a chat to you and then I'm gonna get on and do some more knitting. So where have I got to? Let's um let's start with the advent calendar. Um my yarn advent calendar. So here we the eleventh. We're going quite brown now. This is called Boardwalk. And I guess it is quite a brown one. Let me just bring... So, one of my viewers suggested in the comments about putting, to keep them all in order, putting all the mini skeins on a barber cord. But wouldn't you know it, my barber cords are all busy. So, I thought, right, well, we'll, we'll do something... So I've got it on a bendy DPA. Um, it means that you can see them a bit more clearly. Let me stop jiggling them around. So this is the latest five. And you can see what's interesting about that is seeing the change in the colours. They're lovely. Really interesting. Um, obviously, we were much more blue to begin with. Um, it just reminds you colours in there and I have got 
started. I think I said yesterday that I'd cast on. Um, in fact, I think I showed it to you. So let me show you how far I have now got to. So I have just done the second stripe. So that's day two of my advent calendar. So yeah, it's quite interesting. It's taking shape. I'm really enjoying it. It's quite a long piece because that is the whole body. The fronts and the backs all, all together in one, but knitted from the bottom up. But yeah, it's uh, you can imagine it keeps your interest because you just want to get on and knit the next one. Stripes are always progress quickly because you're moving up and moving up a bit like a ladder. But particularly when your stripes are changing, um, it makes it really interesting. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Right. So now I would share with you the footage um, from the post boxes um, and the decorations in Kings Langley. Um, and um, and say, see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 12th of December. Um, it's a mad full on morning for me um, today. Um, oh, it's not morning, all day. Um, I'm just uh, at the garden centre doing a, a bit of shopping and I've taken some nice footage because they always have lovely decorations in there. Um, then I'm off this morning to see my youngest grandson in his Christmas play, up to see my dad, have lunch with my dad, and get help get him ready for Christmas. Because I won't see him again now till I pick him up on Christmas Eve. Um, he stays with us over Christmas. Um, and um, then it's back down and there's another Christmas play and going out for a meal tonight. So, oh, yeah, it is full on. So, so I thought while we were here, I would quickly open number 12 because I think it's the only chance I'm going to get to do it today I managed to do a little bit of knitting first thing this morning 
Um, but yeah, ooh, Hashmere Sands. There we go. Really going down into that really sandy colours now. And, oh, a pair of needle stoppers. Shells, of course, for the beach theme. I've not, no, I lie, I have tried some needle stoppers before. I had some teddy bears, they looked like um, jelly tots or something. Um, but I never had a lot of success with those. So it would be interesting to give those a try and see how, see how we go with those. Right. I'm going to, um, stop there and, um, catch up with you to, well, tomorrow we're going back down to Cornwall. So I think my next catch up will be with you in two days and Thursday. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.
Hello, it's Thursday, the 14th of December. Um, and um, yeah, I'm we are back in Carbis Bay. So yesterday, um, we drove that down yesterday. Um, we uh, stopped and uh, at a car showroom on the way down and we have put a deposit on a car. So that is that job done. Um, don't need to look at any more cars yet. Um, and so then we, we came down last night, we arrived just in time to, um, unpack the car. Um, and then we hopped on the train into St. Ives because we knew there was a special visitor coming to visit St. Ives. Um, and we lined along the Harbour with lots of, um, lots of locals, um, lovely, friendly atmosphere. It was really nice. Lots of, lots of young children, lots of adults as well wanted a little glimpse. Um, and then the lifeboat came down the um, slope and launched itself into the water at the harbour. Um, and we um, it then disappeared off with the um, inshore lifeboat, which is like a small dinghy, ran past the harbour wall out of sight. Um, a flare went off um, over, over beyond the harbour wall. And then back in came the um, big lifeboat along with the small lifeboat um and on the front of the big lifeboat there was father christmas um and it came right up to the harbour wall which given it is a big boat is is no mean feat to control it i think um and all like that and it sort of went up and down the harbour wall um front way way on so the front was pointing at the harbour wall um waving to um father christmas waving to all the children, all the families, um, wishing them a Merry Christmas. Um, so it was great fun. It was lovely. Um, and then he got off the boat and went into town and turned the lights on at the town square, um, which we went and had a look at afterwards. We went, meanwhile, we went up um, into a restaurant upstairs in the restaurant looking over the harbour um, and had a lovely um, Mexican-style meal which was really nice and shared a bottle of wine and then we um got back on the train heading oh no we went and looked at the um at the lights that uh, father christmas turned on and then we hopped back on the train and came back um and then this morning we were down on the beach um a little bit dull this morning um dry but a little bit dull um the um sun has come out this afternoon um, but we got out on a on a walk the, on the beach this this morning, um, and then came in and started our working day. Um, and then we had lunch back down on the beach. Um, in there's a a deli that looks over the beach, so we had lunch there. Um, I've got to get any more footage of that, but I had a roasted veg and pesto sandwich, which was really lovely. And then we um, came back here, finished our work, and then yeah. So here I am, I've done my work, so I have to sit down and have a little chat with you and then I'm going to be picking up my knitting um, and getting on and um, yeah, doing a little bit more. So what have we got to show you? We have got, I have got another square of the midwinter blanket, um, which is this one here. Um, this is square number six um so i've now got one of each kind and i am now going to i need nine to do the cushion um so i'm going to do another one of the christmas tree which is on my needles at the moment another one of the snowflake and another one of the reindeer just because i decided they were um, and I'm going to do those in different colorways and then I will sew all up the front. So I'm trying, I'm aiming to have that front done before Christmas, but the back will sort of happen at some point after Christmas. And I think it's just going to be one of those simple knits that's on my needles for knitting when I'm in the car and at knit groups and times like that when I don't need to concentrate. I'm thinking of stripes, various thicknesses, that kind of thing. Something a bit fun, but a bit simple. Then we've got our knitted jumpers. Um, and I have now knitted the green one. 
to go along with the red and the green that I've shown you before. Um, both the red and the cream still have got a side seam that needs to be sewn up. So I'm going to get on and do that. And so hopefully they will be finished for me to show you tomorrow. And I'll get them hung up somewhere. And then the next thing is to open number 14 on my yarn advent calendar. So, this is interesting. It's changing colour again a bit. There we go. So, this has got like some greys in it. So, it's sort of um, beiges, creams with some greys in it. And it's called Junes. So, these are the ones that I've got that I haven't yet balled up. So, let me bring those up and show those to you. So that is those there. So you can see you've got the blues down this end, moving over into the beiges, the browns, creams. Let's just say this one's getting a bit grey. And I have, let me show you where I have got to on my advent project. So I'm knitting the Daft Days, um, the Daft Days cardigan. Um, and this is how far I have got. Um, it's, so yeah, what have we got? We've got six of the stripes on. And the one I am knitting on at the moment is Tropical Beach. So that's one of those really bluey ones. And then you can see it's then going down into this color next. So it's actually going to take on, whereas it's been quite blue to begin with, it's actually going to take on a different um, uh, colours to represent the sand. Um, and I think that dark brown is called Boardwalk. So, yeah, you can kind of see where that's that's going with that beach theme. Um, I have resorted, I had been tucking my labels in, so I've been keeping, once I've bought them, keeping the balls in here and I have been tucking the labels in like that just inside however a couple of them got loose um and I'm not actually sure whether I've even ended up I'm not sure whether this one should have been up here um anyway I've decided I'm not going to worry about it um I'm having too much fun knitting it I certainly don't want to be undoing it again so I thought what I've decided to do to make sure I don't make a mistake like that again is that when I balled the beginning of the yarn, before I start wrapping it around my fingers, which is what I do when I'm just creating these balls, um, I, I actually knotted the label onto that tail um, just to keep that. So it's not, not particularly attractive looking, but you know, hey, it's practical. It's getting the job done. Um, stop me getting confused, that's for sure. So because obviously we've I've then got to pick those up again for doing the sleeves um so it's important that I don't lose the labels um because there is an order that I have been following um in the box within the box um Shannon have put um blue fern yarns have put labels in there so yes the advent calendar before I forget to say is from blue fern yards because I know that a few of you had asked me about that so um so that is um everything for today I am going to now go and sit in my chair in the bay window and watch the um uh, I'm going to watch the light going out out there and the lights starting to um come on and the trains coming around the corner into the bay while I do my knitting um and I will come back to you um, tomorrow. I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow afternoon actually, I might get into St Ives. Um, and then because um, the weather's looking dry, we're hoping to get out on some lovely walks over the weekend um, that we can share with you as well. So until tomorrow, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning, it's Friday the 15th of December um, and uh, we're just heading into St Ives to get some pasties for lunch and a spot of Christmas shopping. Inside. You probably saw as the train drew up into Carbis Bay that there um, was a fine um, sort of rain mist coming in, uh, making the vision not as not as clear uh, as I'm looking out the window now. Everything's starting to get dark early, um, and there's that sort of mist, and the lights are starting to come on, um, and um, and it just does make it feel cosy. It's it's so nice getting outside. Um, and it was it was lovely at lunchtime. Um, it was nice. Really enjoyed getting out. But now, when you get to this time of day, um, you just want to be inside and uh, cozying up. And perfect time for um, knitting, chatting to you. Um, so this all seems to be working very well. So let's get started. Um, behind me, I have got um, the jumpers. They are finished. I think I showed them finished yesterday, didn't I? But I hadn't. Why had I not sewn them up? No, I don't think I'd sewn them up, had I? Um, there was some, there was still some seaming to be done. Seaming all done, ends cut, and there they are, hung up, giving a little bit festive cheer to what is, quite frankly, because it's a, a holiday rental flat that we've got for the winter. Um, it's not very excitingly decorated, certainly not cosy for winter sort of decorated. It's more beach themed. Um, so that adds a little bit of festive colour um, into the room without but without imposing too much on on somebody else's decor. So right, let's get, let's go into the advent calendar for today. I'm gonna to pop my cup of tea down. So number 15. So the box is now a little bit over half empty, which is logical really, there's only 24 in there, isn't there? But 
Um, yeah, they seem to be motoring along very quickly in December. Oh, okay, now we are going quite grey. So I think I started to say that yesterday, didn't I? We have here white caps. I know I call them white horses, don't I? When um, when the wind comes from a certain direction into the bay here, you get those white caps, white horses along the tops of the waves, um, making it look very, making the sea look very different to the way it normally does. And very calm and very still. So let's. I'm going to string that up onto here. We have lost one on one end, which I bored up yesterday. So you can see, actually, that was the last of the really blue ones that I've bored up. This one's a little bit. It's a mixture of blue and beige going on here, and then we're coming through into the more creamy or sandy colours, and then we're going sandy, creamy into sort of a, into grey. Yeah, interesting mix of colours. And I'm still on the fence about whether I'm going to use all of the colours. Um, I was looking at the pattern last night and I think it said it was would use my... Oh no, it said that the first... Well, no, it didn't actually. The first eight sizes, I think it said, are going to use 18 to 24. So given that I'm only half... I'm doing size 4... Um, that may, it's got super dark out there now, so I think the rain is really coming in. I can hardly see across the bay. Um, so yeah, 18 to 24 stripes. So that means if I've got 24 colors, um, and so I'm doing size four, I would think mathematically that means I'm probably only going to be using 21, um, of the mini skeins. So I am thinking, well, I may drop a few out but I think I think it's really that they're not going to work with the blue that's that's what I'm sort of thinking um so here we go this is how far I've got now and I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer to you and you can see that we've got that very pale um blue going on which is the last of the of the proper blues before we go into one that's more bluey sort of brownie sandy sort of color um, and even this one that I'm doing now has got little specks um, appearing in it so yeah it's very very query sort of um, feeling to it so um, yeah so it's coming on that's that's the seventh stripe that I'm on now and then the other thing that I am still working on And to be honest, I'm having a little bit of a nightmare with this. This is it's really daft. But so I'm doing the there are the other squares and I'm doing the Christmas tree. So let me show you the Christmas tree. Where I've done it before. Um that that was where I did it. Now I'm doing it so that I've got a white tree. The trouble is, of course, the squares are dark on the chart. So my brain is trying to put the darker colour where the darker squares are. Um, you often hear people struggling with that. I think that is a, a... And I'm fine when I'm on the right side um, because I can see where I need to go and what, what the colour's doing. But when I'm working on the reverse side, there obviously isn't much to be seen. Um, and I keep going wrong. So I think I'm not really any any further forward bar a row or so of what I was when I was talking about it yesterday um, or maybe even before that I keep having to undo it uh, because I keep going wrong on the wrong side rows um, thinking that the dark squares are green when they're actually white so anyway I need to uh, focus really hard on that and, uh, and, and push through that square I'm wondering whether maybe changing the colours around might just have been a little step too far. For, um, so, um, but anyway, we will push on. So I'm going to um, go and get on with my with some knitting. 
Um, and um, finish that last bit of Christmas present shopping. I'm nearly there. So that's what I was doing in St. Ives just now, um, picking up the last few presents um, and um, just really having a little bit of a mooch round at the shops and enjoying a cup of tea with that wonderful view. I'm not sure how well you would have seen it, but it's looking out over Porfamir Beach, which is a surfing surfing beach. And um, it's starting to fill up a little bit in St. Ives now. Um, not busy, but it busier than it has been. Um, which so I think there are people starting already to come down for Christmas or maybe they're coming down for the week before Christmas um, because some of the schools will have already broken up. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're starting to see more people there. So, But uh, it was lovely sitting there watching um, the waves rolling in and it's been the tide's been uh, a really low tide and then a really high tide Um this uh, today so that's been interesting actually seeing what the tides um, have been doing um, it's eating away at the um, sand ledge that we've got on our uh, feet on our beach but equally when you see it go out both here and at St Ives because it's further than it normally goes you start to see bits and pieces that you don't see as often so that's really interesting as well and indeed there are um, just try to think where there are, there's one on Carbis Bay um, and some other beaches as well in Cornwall where at the lower tides you actually can see bits of um, erect boat sticking out um, off the, the wet sand um, when the tide is, is running really low, which is uh, interesting. So. Okay, I'm going to get on with my knitting and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
so we've just stopped for lunch here and I've had a uh, um, toasted sandwich and a cup of tea and we are um, just getting warm again. It's got quite nice out there. Um, this afternoon has been quite a drizzle coming um, and we're just getting a little sort of open shack here. Um, it's warming up shape. in the bay um we had a lovely big walk today um and a really nice lunch um we didn't end up doing the walk i think i said to you that i wasn't sure where we we're going to go from Porth Town to chapel Porth or chapel Porth to Porth Town. um and we decided to go from chapel Porth because we weren't sure if the uh, cafe would be open there um but in the end um it was open uh so we went to chapel Porth. i think planning on walking to Porth Town to eat there where we know there's a better choice of places to eat and pubs and things that will be open at this time of year um but as we went onto the beach so we've walked it regularly at low tide but i guess really not for a couple of years um and um there was a river running down the beach um which wasn't really passable by foot uh, but then we could see later on as we could get a better view of the beach actually beyond that it didn't look passable either and i guess if We'd rolled up our shoes and taken off our shoes and socks and walked in it. We could have done, um, but then we'd have had cold feet and no towel to dry them uh, for the rest of the walk. So um, actually, I think it was probably a good thing that we uh, that we ended up at Chapel Porth and were warned of that rather than walked all the way along the beach from Porth Tower and only to find that it was going to be difficult or impossible to pass um, on that last bit. So, so we ended up going up um, St Agnes Head, so, and oh, wonderful views. And do you know what it got me thinking of? The colours of that are, um, so the colours of the beach and the sea and all that sort of thing um, really made me think of my advent calendar um, cardigan, my Darth Day's cardigan, um, with all those blues and sandy colours and, and what have you. So um, anyway, um You'll have seen that footage, um, so you you can see what I mean. Now, I am going to um, sign off for this is the end of this week. Um, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried to put a mixture of different stuff in there this time, but still enjoy um, the Cornish things and the things that I know that you enjoy seeing. Um, so um, I'm going to head off now. Um, I'll be We're going out for a walk tomorrow, which will be Sunday, the 17th we'll be going out um, for a pub walk um, along the estuary which is a lovely um, walk and a favourite of ours and I'll share that with you um, so until next week um, take care and uh, we will see you then thank you so much bye bye <laughs>